I'm going to call this August 27th meeting of the Board of Aldermen to order. Uh, Mr. Clark. Please rise for a prayer to open our meeting. Lord, we serve in this legally constituted body of government to defend and advance the rights that you have provided all men and women, including the right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. We ask that you guide our discussions and decisions and help us fulfill this commission with wisdom and honor. Now let's join a salute to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please call the roll. Mr. Alderman, M Mr. President, if I may. Alderman Denham. Thank you. Before you call the roll, I just spoke with Alderman Desmond, who's on his way back from Western Mass. He had to bring his son out there for school. So just, I know he's first in line, but I just wanted you to know that. Thank you, thank uh, you. Uh, Alderman O'Donovan, and Alderman Taylor is unable to be with us this evening, so thank you for that. Uh, the, uh, the role, Mr. Clark. Alderman Desmond. Alderman White. Here. Alderman Gewurz. Here. Alderman Roach. Here. Alderman O'Donovan. Here. Alderman Houston. Here. Alderman Taylor. Alderman Sullivan. Here. Alderman Train. Here. Alderman Conley. And Alderman Perrow. Here. Mr. Mr. President, nine aldermen are present, two are absent. Uh, item two. Item two is the approval of the special meeting minutes of June 22, 2009, and the regular meeting minutes of two, June 25, 2009. Alderman Roach makes a motion to approve. All in favor? Opposed? The ayes have it. The motion is approved. Alderman Conley. Mr. President, I'd like to take an opportunity now to, uh, as we start the meeting, to uh, commemorate uh, not only the life of Senator Edward Kennedy, but also of uh, Marion Craven, a well-known individual here in, in the community, and that uh, uh, we take measures to remember the Senator and people like Mrs. Craven, who passed recently. And perhaps we have a moment of silence now to dedicate our meeting, and I'm sure other members may have some remarks to make. Thank you, Alderman Thank you. Please rise for a moment of silence. <clears throat> Thank you. Anything further on our dedications this evening? Alden Houston. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I've spent my whole career in health care, and um, I think with Senator Kennedy's uh, passing, um, there are things that have become embedded in our daily lives that we don't realize that he had a big hand in. And um, in the health care area, in terms of Medicaid, um, Medicare, and um, always looking out for the hospitals of Massachusetts. Um, I believe he played an extremely important and ro role and one that will be missed. I read a fact today about him that every single piece of health care legislation since the late 1960s has had his fingerprints on it. And so I, I, there's much to say about Senator Kennedy, but the one thing that I wanted to say is in relation to what I live and breathe every day in my day job, um, you can always um, see his hand in, um, in what he worked on for people in terms of their health care needs. And uh, people, people value that and appreciate it no matter where you come down on this health care discussion right now. The fact of the matter is that he fought for people's uh, rights in terms of health care. Thank you. Anything further? Seeing none, uh, I would ask the clerk to please uh, send a letter to the senator's uh, family and also to Mrs. Mrs. Uh, Craven's family as well. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Uh, returning to the regular order of business, item three. Item three is a citation submitted by Alderman Houston and the entire board congratulating Bernadine McCarthy on the auspicious occasion of her 80th birthday. Alderman Houston. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I have the pleasure of uh, presenting this citation this evening, and it's for Bernadine McCarthy. Bernadine, for health reasons, could not be here this evening, but we have uh, her son, Brian, um, and I'm happy to give this to Brian so that he can give it to his mother. Um, the citation reads, be it hereby known to all that the Somerville Board of Aldermen offers its sincerest congratulations to Bernadine McCarthy, a lifelong resident of Ward 2 on the auspicious occasion of her 80th birthday. The entire membership extends its best wishes for good health and success in all endeavors. 
I want to say a few words about Bernadine because you know we get up here a lot. A lot of us get up here and wish people happy birthday. And then it occurred to me, um, and I know Bernadine and her family very well. They live on Adrian Street. But it occurred to me as I was reading about her, her life, which I didn't know a lot about, is that she could be um, sort of labeled the typical Somerville mother, the Somerville mother that I knew when I was growing up. So let me tell you what that means. Um, lifelong resident of Somerville, lifelong resident, um, excuse me, member of St. Joseph's Church, and certainly the typical mother always had some affiliation with some religious organization. That was your typical Somerville mother. Born in a house on Calvin Street, August 14, 1929, to Irish immigrants. Again, the, the typical old-fashioned Somerville mother had their roots here like that. Um, graduated from St. Joseph's High School in 1946. Worked at John Hancock. Married for 50 years. The old-fashioned Somerville mother usually was married to their husband for that length of time or longer. Um, had seven children, eight grandchildren, three great-grandchildren was a lunch mother at St. Joseph's, so usually they did some volunteer work, and then they had a little fun. So, of course, she became a loyal bingo player at the school. Um, she lives on Adrian Street, and she worked at Johnny's Food Master for 23 years as well. What I would say, Brian, is that you've got, your mother is the typical Somerville mother, and I think that that's a, a great compliment to any mother in this city. So, um, wish your mother well. We know she's not feeling too well. Bring this to, would you like to say a few yeah, words? Sure. Well, thank you very much, Mary Ann, and the whole board. <clears throat> As she said, my mother's not feeling well tonight, so she can't be here. But she is watching at home. She is a loyal listener. So I see that camera's on. Hi, Mom. <laughs> so so she, she saw that. She's probably laughing right now at me or throwing something. But <laughs> OK, well, thank you very much. I'm sure she'll appreciate this. Thank you. And Next item. Item four is a citation by Alderman Houston, the entire board, congratulating Elaine Matthews on the happy occasion of her 65th birthday. Mr. President, I was, um, I had the honor of going to Elaine's party along with um, Senator Jalen and um, school committee woman Cardozo last Sunday, and at that time we uh, presented this to her, um, and we want to wish her well on her birthday. On the citation, all in favor, oppose, the ayes have it, the citation is adopted. 